Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be restoring two different hand planes. There are a lot of great videos out there of people restoring hand planes on YouTube and I'll highlight a couple of my favorites in the description below. The image that you see here is of the completed restoration and my goal was to simply get these hand planes to a usable condition and not make them look brand new. At the end of the video I'll provide a breakdown of the cost of the used planes and how they compare to the cost of new planes that you can uh, purchase at your local hardware store. Anyway, on to the restoration. The first plane here is the Stanley Bailey number no. 4. There's a fair bit of rust. The sole also appears to be in relatively good shape with the mouth having nice clean edges. The finish on the knob and tote has a lot of cracks and chips to the finish but the wood does seem to be in good condition and for a plane that's at least 75 years old, it's not in bad shape. The second plane is a Wardmaster. Its distinguishing feature is a cool blue colored frog. It doesn't have a number, but it is the same size as the number five. The blade angle adjustment handle is not as sturdy as the one on the Stanley, and it is bent enough that it gets in the way of it moving freely from side to side. Another key difference is that this does not have the adjustment screws used to fine tune the position of the frog. This plane has surface rust and some paint on the sole, but the mouth again is in very good shape. And you can tell this isn't the highest grade uh, hand plane, but I figure I can use it to do my rough planing. So now we're going to start disassembling the planes. And I'll either speed up the video or cut out repetitive sections so that you can see all the steps that I went through. Okay, so now all the parts are disassembled and I've placed them into a uh, plastic tub. And I'm pouring in some white distilled vinegar, which is something that I saw Jay Bates do in his video to help re uh, remove the rust.
All right, so these are the restored hand planes. This is the Stanley number four. This is the Wardmaster number five. And as you can see, everything's looking quite nice. There's a little bit of pitting, some dark uh, parts of the steel or the iron. Um, but overall, it looks pretty nice. As you can see, the knobs came out nice. Here. Pretty nice. And ready to rock. Okay, so now here's a quick cost breakdown. I purchased the Stanley Bailey number no. 4 on eBay for $33 and the shipping and handling costs an additional $15. I bought the Wardmaster for just $10.50 and the shipping and handling was $12. I thought it was funny that the shipping cost more than the plane itself. But I hadn't seen many of these Wardmaster planes so I was just a bit curious. And I know now that they're not designed or built quite as nicely as the Bailey planes but for the price it's still a rock solid plane. And having a cheaper plane also helps you to understand the refinements of the nicer tools and why they're worth more. Well I hope you enjoyed the video and please leave your comments and questions below. Cheers!